The C final of the men's double skulls lines up like this with Canada in lane one, Sweden in lane two, the USA taking up lane three alongside Moldova in lane four, who received a yellow card, by the way, for being late at the start. I wonder where they got to. Norway in lane five and Hungary in lane six. A great start, as you can see, looking particularly quick out of the blocks with the Swedish crew in lane two. How have they progressed uh, as we head down towards 1,200 meters, I wonder? Yeah, it's quite interesting. Moldova leading out of lane four. So you can see Moldova uh, with just a nice uh, a nice margin over the rest of the field. Moldova with the fastest time coming out of the repishage. Uh, so yeah, it was a quick start indeed for Sweden, uh, but it's Moldova now who's uh, made the best of it. Then it's over to the USA uh, with Norway and not to be left out, excuse me, Canada out of lane one. So still pretty tightly packed as we come through, I'd say with the exception of Moldova. It's looking good for them, Kat, isn't it? Yeah, it looks really good for Moldova. And this Canadian crew on the near side is moving well. They're just a length off the Moldovans. And they're in a little bit of a uh, space here. The crew alongside them from Sweden has dropped back. So the Canadians just need to keep a little eye over to their left and stay in touch with this race, as they may not be aware of just how much they've got to make up on the Moldovans. So Moldova still lead this. They're at 34 strokes a minute. The Canadians up at 37 strokes a minute. And the USA uh, currently riding behind that in third place. Yeah, it's a good look for the Canadians, isn't it? Uh, these athletes making their international debut. That's Samuel Stewart and Raphael Burrs of Canada out of lane one. Uh, currently moving at 37 strokes per minute and just putting themselves in a nice position as we move through into the final quarter just by that 1,500 down. So look then at the graphics. It's Moldova, Canada with the USA running third. Uh, water starting to run out, though, so we'll see if the Canadians can take a push here at the end. Yeah, here we're looking at Moldova. Nice uh, blade work from them. They're pushing well with the legs. Body's nice and tight in here. Alexandra Bula in the stroke seat. Alexandra Masnich in the bows. They've led from the very start of this race. Solid rhythm at 34 strokes a minute. Rob, they're coming down towards you in the 250 meter mark. They've still got just over a length advantage ahead of Canada and the USA, but it's tight there for second place as well. Yeah, it's a closely fought race, this one, isn't it? Not much separating those front three. Maybe three seconds between Republic of Moldova in first, USA in third. Bit of a gap then to Norway, Sweden and Hungary behind them in the second pack. Sledujeme dvojsky v mužů, v finále C, tedy souboj opět o konečné třinácté místo a za Moldavskou republiku zatím dvojice, která je nejrychlejší, Mastik a Bulat, to jsou... Partiáci, kteří si jedou právě o ono zmiňované 13. místo, Kanaděné aktuálně na druhém a Američané na, tři, na, na třetím místě. Coming down to the finish line, there's plenty of noise coming from the grandstand here with uh, other crews here supporting their nations. It's a terrific atmosphere here, but it is going to be Moldova from lane four who take first place. The battle for second and third just goes the way of uh, lane three, and that is the USA. They did well to come from uh, further back down the course with Canada finishing third in lane one. What a race. Skvělý závod, nic se nemění na tom, že za Moldavsko dokázala zvítězit dvojice a posádka, která bere první místo a třinácté místo celkově na světovém šampionátu. Nakonec druzí američané, ano, ty uhájili druhé místo o čtyři desetiny před Kanaďany. Švédové se také zmohli na nápor v poslední části, nakonec ale čtvrté místo. Norský dvojsky v napátém a Maďaři nakonec uzavírají tuto jízdu na šestém místě. Moldavsko, první pozice 6, 24, 69, vítězství v této jízdě o téměř 3 sekundy.